So anyone who remembers chemistry from some other point in life might be saying, through all of this, you are taking a really long time to do something simple. All you do is cross and drop. So you take this, and it's like a one there, and this one, that's where this one goes, and then this one goes over here, and it's like a one here. So you end up with and you kind of don't worry about the signs. So you end up with an unsumed, because remember we don't write the ones, but an assumed one to one, like N-A-1-C-L-1. So that's all fine and good. We're gonna do a few more just to remind you, yeah, you can make this work most of the time. So over here we have the three, we're gonna cross it down, so that's a three. The two will cross over this way, so you end up with C-A-3-P-2. And then over here, the two goes over, the three goes over, so you end up with Al2O3. All right, so here's where you have to be super careful. When you're doing these, it has to be, for the cross and drop to work, it has to be the lowest ratio, and it's not gonna work if it's not the lowest ratio. So if you look right in this situation, I don't have the lowest ratio. So I would not say Ca2O2, you can't do that. It's got to be the lowest ratio of the charges. So this is kind of like being plus one, minus one. That's kind of weird, though, because it isn't plus one or minus one. But it becomes CA, understood one, understood one. And another example of this is here. This is not SN2O4. See, those aren't the lowest ratios. We're all about low ratios here in chemistry. So you would have to, like, simplify kind of like that, and make it SNO2. Of course, remember these are not real charges, it's just a little trick that we're doing, kind of trying to show how you can do this a little bit more, just with a, a little bit less thinking, I guess is the way to think of it.